Let's walk through the various features within the export module. So once you have your photo looking the way you want and you want to get that into a final format or state, you're going to want to use the export module. You can access the export module from browse or the other applications within Photo 10. You get to the export module in the same way no matter what application that you're in. So let's head over to the bottom right hand corner and we can see that we have this icon. This is the export icon. When we single click on this, the export pane gets brought up for us. At the top of this pane, we have this plus button. When you single click on that, you can see all the options available in the export pane. What's really nice about the export pane is you can turn on and off these different features so that you only use the features that are relevant to the photo that you're working on. And you do this by single clicking on each feature that you'd like to turn on and off. Let's start by talking about photo size. So this is where we've incorporated perfect resize into the export module. So if you want to make any enlargements from Photo 10, this is the best place to do it. From the installer, you probably saw that there's also a chance to install perfect resize as a standalone application. So if you didn't want to use that with Photo 10 or you want to use that with the Photoshop plugin, that's going to be the best option. But when coming from Photo 10, using Photo Size is going to be the same technology as you would get with Perfect Resize. So you can choose how you'd like to measure the dimensions, whether that be on width and height, long edge, short edge, and then you can put in the dimensions of what you want your photo to be, whether you want to shrink that photo down or enlarge that. You can also choose the resolution, and then you can also drop down into our presets that we have for enlargements. Now most photos are going to fit just fine in the general setting here that we have highlighted. But for other photo styles, there are specific settings for those people that want to use those, such as portrait, landscape, and even high detail. If we go back up to our menu here, we can see that we also have enhance and effects presets. So if there's presets that you've created within those applications, you can automate those getting applied as you export your photo. So maybe there's a certain look or there's sharpening or tone or something that you've done with an enhance. Again, that can all be automated on the export process. We also have the ability to add watermarks. So if I want to turn this on by single clicking, you can see the watermark now gets added to our pane. So you can choose your file, size, inset, opacity, and things like position for the photograph. As we scroll down further, you can also see that you can choose the file type that you want. You can also then choose the location of where you'd like that file to live and select options such as overwrite. This allows you to get prompted to ask how you'd like to handle duplicate files. You can see that there's also the ability to rename the file. A couple more features to talk about, so I'll go back up here to my top menu, is that we also have sharpening. So if I turn that on, you can see we have various presets available. So understanding what the medium is going to be, whether that's screen or print or even the paper type that you're going to use if you are printing. Those are all important things to know when you apply sharpening for a photograph. We also have tiling and gallery wrap available. And what tiling is going to do is break up your photograph into various pieces. And so you can choose the size of those pieces and where those pieces break. Typically that's going to be used in a collage type fashion with your photograph. And then we also have gallery wrap. And this is really handy if you're printing on canvas. So you can give yourself, for example, a two inch wrap around the sides so it looks as if the photograph is continuing as you get that wrap on the sides of that canvas. If you find yourself using the same settings over and over again in the export module, it's best to create a preset. This is going to really help you save time in your post process. What's happening when you create a preset is it's taking a snapshot of all the settings that you have applied within the export pane. To create this preset, once you have your settings in a place that you want, go ahead and click Save Preset. And then you can come back to this preset at a later time and reuse it.